Okay, so this is again going to be the division. of fractions. Okay, now as I said, there's a few preliminaries we're going to go over first. Hopefully everybody understands this. First, when you say the reciprocal of A over B, now assuming that A over B has a reciprocal, how would you write it? Yes. Uh, B over A. Right. B over A is a reciprocal. Okay, so the reciprocal of A over B is B over A. Now that's because the definition of the reciprocal is a number times its reciprocal has to equal 1. one. Okay, so that's another property. A number times its reciprocal is equal to 1. So A over B times B over A is equal to 1. Number times its reciprocal is 1. Okay, next is the property of fractions. Okay, so if I take any fraction and I multiply the top and the bottom by the same number, I get a so-called equal fraction. Okay, so if I take A over B and I multiply it by C over C, I get A, C, over B6. Okay, so any fraction multiplying top and bottom by the same number gives me an equivalent fraction, but we can say equal fraction. Okay, now, the next thing we have to understand is what division means. Okay, so let's take an example of a division. If you take 12 divided by 4. Now everybody knows the answer to that. 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. But we have an equivalent way of writing 12 divided by 3. We can also write this 12 divided by 3 in fraction form. I can write it equivalently as 12 over 3. So 12 over 3 means 12 divided by 3. So that's equal to 4. Now, in general, I could say any time I have a division, it could be written as a fraction. Or any fraction can be written as a division. So if I have, let's say, A divided by B. Now, how would I write that as a fraction? I'll write it as A, a over, B. over B. Okay, this is a very important idea. They mean exactly the same thing. A divided by B is the same thing as A over B. Okay, now we can get into a little bit of the division of fraction. The first thing I want to make sure everybody understands, though, in order to understand division, that's the inverse of what? Division is the inverse of multiplication. So if we understand the multiplication, then we'll be able to understand the division. So the fourth idea is this. If you have a multiplication of fractions, let's say I have A over B times C over D. What we normally remember, after we cancel, of course, we're not going to get into that now because of time constraints. When we multiply fractions, we multiply the denominators, the tops, and we multiply the denominators, the bottoms together. So you have A times C over B times D. Now again, even if you don't cancel, that will still be the product, but you may at that point have to reduce it if you want to get it down to the lowest terms. Okay, so up to this point, let's see if we all remember what we had. Reciprocal of A over B is B over A. Invert the form of reciprocal. What does a reciprocal mean? What does the reciprocal mean? A, a number times its reciprocal is 1. Third, we can form an equivalent fraction by multiplying top and bottom by the same number. And again, we made use of this fourth idea in the 
and you multiply two fractions, you can multiply across the top and across the bottom. Okay, now we're ready for the exciting part. Now we're going to look at what happens with the division. That's enough. Yeah. Okay, let's look at the division problem. Now, before I get into it theoretically, I need to say, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I haven't kicked anybody out yet. <laughs> Where's the bat? Oh, yeah. Before I get into the general idea, though, let's just look at a few examples with numbers first, and you can see what it's going to lead to. <laughs> well, divide it by three is equal to four. four. <laughs> if I take 12 times one third, that's equal to four. four. If I take five divided by two and a half, now think, how many two and a halves there are in five? Two, two. Now this is interesting because now I can make a more complicated multiplication here. The reciprocal of two and a half, now remember, two and a half is two times two, four, plus one, five over two. So the reciprocal of two and a half is two fifths. Just invert five halves. Now if I take 5 times 2 fifths, remember 5 is the same thing as 5 over 1, I get 10 over 5, which is equal to 2. So dividing by 2 and a half is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. Okay, and I could do more examples like this, and in every case, dividing by the number gives me the same answer as multiplying by the reciprocal. Now let's prove it in general so we know that this is true. <laughs> we're going to prove from, no, we're going to skip the piano postures today. We're just going to take it from assuming the field axioms. Okay, let's take a look at this now, folks, because this is going to be really cool. Okay. Uh, okay. Say the comments, please. Uh, Tom, say the comments. A over B divided by C over D. Now, I want to write this as a fraction. It's the first number on the top, second number on the bottom. Okay, because any division is the first number on the top, second number on the bottom. So A over B divided by C over D is the same thing as this fraction. Now, if you're a little familiar with the terminology, this is a complex fraction. However, I can now make use of this idea. I can form an equivalent fraction by multiplying top and bottom by the same number. Now, if you're really sharp, you probably can figure out multiply top and bottom by a number that will give me one on the bottom. Is it D over C? Right. Very good, Frank. Very good. So I multiply top and bottom by D over C. Now, if you follow what he did, you realize he saw that the reciprocal of C over D is D over C. So when I multiply on the bottom, the number times its reciprocal is by the fraction multiplication rule is A times D. A times B over B times C. But anything divided by 1 leaves a quantity unchanged. So you have A, B over B, C. But that's the same result I get if I take A over B and I multiply it by C over D. Oh uh, yeah, D over C, I got it wrong. D over C. Cut, 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 cut that out. Okay, now, zoom in. Zoom in. A times D over B times C. So we prove mathematically dividing by the fraction is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. That's what the test are. Thank you. And this is the lesson by who? Yeah. Yeah. This is the lesson by Dr. Barton. Thank you. Dr. Paul. Yeah. Yeah.